Speaking of devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary this first Saturday, we should think of how the saints were so devoted to Our Lady. St. Alphonsus Liguori, he's known for having written several visits to the Blessed Sacrament. And at the end of each one, he always made it a point to say some little prayer or make a visit to our Blessed Lady. Because the Blessed Sacrament and Our Lady are are tied together. Without Our Lady, God would not could not have taken on human flesh. Without the human flesh, there would be no Holy Eucharist. And so we should always imitate St. Alphonsus. Whenever we make a visit, receive a Holy Communion, assist at Mass, always remember to invoke Our Lady at some point as well. Or we think of St. Gabriel Posenti. We just celebrated his feast day. He's also known as St. Gabriel of Our Lady of Sorrows. He tells us, very beautiful, and remember, we have to remember as we hear this quote, when he was growing up, he was known as the dancer. He was um, sanguine by nature. He liked to have a good time. He liked the theater and was a very good dancer was good with a gun as well, and all sorts of interesting things. But when he ordered the Passionist the Passionist Order, he wrote back to his father, because his father didn't think that he really had a vocation, and it was just uh, his son was being flighty, and soon enough he would, he would leave the religious order. But a month after being in that order, St. Gabriel wrote home to his father and said, Believe your son. I would much rather spend 15 minutes in the presence of Our Lady than spend hours or days or the rest of my life in worldly pleasures and theaters and all of the rest. 15 minutes. And that brings us to First Saturday, doesn't it? Because if we're keeping the First Saturday, one of the things that we must do to gain all the privileges of the first Saturday is spend 15 minutes with Our Lady. That that doesn't mean the rosary. The rosary is one thing, and 15 minutes of meditation is quite another thing. Meditating on the mysteries of the rosary. We should be like St. Gabriel. That 15 minutes should be so precious that we would prefer to be there than anywhere else in the world. We take time out to do it, if at all possible. But today, and remember that the sermon that you hear, that counts as part of the 15 minutes. But in any case, the mystery we should reflect on today is in the Gospel that we just read. Our Lady standing faithfully at the cross. And we're meant to imitate Our Lady too. If part of devotion to Our Lady is, it's more than just saying prayers. Always remember that. It's any devotion. It's more than just saying prayers and things like that. It's imitating Our Lady's virtues. And it was, as we see her standing so firmly at the cross, we're meant to imitate her generosity, her fortitude. She was watching her son, her God, be mocked and tortured and dying before her very eyes. And she had all the power in the world to stop it. She was the mother of God. And our Lord was always obedient to her. She had all the power over the heart of Jesus to stop it, the crucifixion. And yet she knew the good that it would do for souls all the way to the end of the world. She knew the good that it would do to each soul here and all of the the others as well. And she therefore willingly offered up her son, her God, to God the Father in reparation for all of the sins of mankind. What generosity there is in the heart of, of Mary, our mother. She has a mother's heart for each and every one of us. And therefore, we should imitate her in generosity. 
In just a few more days, we'll be entering the penitential season of Lent. And if we were to be true to ourselves, and were to examine our conscience as to our past Lents, we could all say that we've never quite been generous with our Lord in our penances. But we might fast, but we usually complain, at least internally, and grumble about it. Or we might try to be charitable, but internally again, we're doing everything begrudgingly. This year, let's try to, to overcome that part. Be generous with our Lord. Ask Our Lady for a share of her genero- in her generosity and to be able to carry out all of your penances with a joyful and a cheerful spirit. That's what our Lord wants to see. And that's what he's going to remind us of in the Gospel on Ash Wednesday, that we should wash our face so that we're not seen to be suffering as we do our penances. And in that way, we'll stand faithfully by the cross of our Lord for the next 40 days for the great season of Lent. So ask Our Lady today for this one grace, the grace to be loyal to the cross, that we might be loyal to her Son. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.